Imagination is one of the most powerful tools in humanity's evolutionary struggle. As a race, we're hardwired to consider important concepts. Who are we? How did we get here? Are we alone? As individuals, we are all presented with explanations and theories from religion and science about the explosion of human life here on Earth. But what if there's more to the story? What if there's been a veil of lies and deception shadowing the truth for thousands of years? In the history of humankind, these concepts have allowed religious teachings and the power of a spiritual god to strike fear into us humble servants here on Earth. But now in this new age of discovery and understanding, many people have come to challenge these claims. We are now beginning to understand the history of humankind in a totally different way. Perhaps this is the truth that religion has kept from us for many thousands of years. In this presentation, we look at evidence of alien visitors to Earth in the distant past through the eyes of the ancients and what they saw. The evidence is compelling. The signs are everywhere. These are our five alien depictions that will blow your mind. Number 5. The Wanginas one of the most intriguing legends of the Aboriginal people of Australia is the Wanginas, the creators of the land and people. They are made up of three tribes. These tribal groups have produced some of the oldest known figurative art. What is most amazing about their figurative art painted on rocks and in caves is the way in which it depicts the figures. White faces, no mouth, large black eyes, and a head surrounded by a halo or some type of helmet. There are theories that suggest extraterrestrial beings visited Earth many thousands of years ago and had direct contact with the inhabitants here. Some believe that the ETs even played a direct role in creation, which is reflected not only in the Dreamtime stories of the Aboriginals, but also in the myths and legends of many ancient civilizations around the world. There's a stunning similarity between the Wanginas and the modern thinking of how an extraterrestrial could look, and many raise the obvious questions. Why were the Wanginas painted with white skin if it was representing another aboriginal, all of whom had black skin? Why were the eyes painted so much larger in comparison to the face and nose? And why were they all painted without a mouth? But what is even more intriguing is the story which has been passed down from generation to generation as all the Aboriginal Dreamtime stories have. The story goes like this. The sky beings came down from the Milky Way during Dreamtime and created the Earth and all its inhabitants. They looked upon the inhabitants and realized the scale of the task and returned home to bring more beings. With the aid of the Dreamtime Snake, they descended and spent their Dreamtime creating, teaching, and being gods to the aboriginals whom they created. After some time, they disappeared. They descended into the Earth and since then have lived at the bottom of the water source associated with each of the paintings. There, they continually produce new child seeds, which are regarded as the source of all human life. Some Wajina also return to the sky, and can now be seen at night as lights moving high above the earth. Number 4. The Tassili Caves These cave paintings depict strange creatures with helmets, gloves, and strange suits. It's hard to see it as anything else. These amazing depictions are among the best evidence of an intelligent life form being present here on earth. The stunning depictions are found in the Tassili Plateau, southern Algeria, in the arid desert of the Sahara. Through these paintings, we know that this isolated Sahara region was teeming with life 6,000 years ago. Unfortunately, 80% of these depictions have been lost to erosion. It is thought that the cave paintings are about 15,000 years old. There are many interesting details about these discoveries. The caves are an ideal living environment, even today. According to the depictions, rivers, jungles, animals, and exotic plants were not foreign to the area. The most incredible feature depicting strange beings with helmets and suits resembling modern-day astronauts has completely baffled experts throughout the world. These mysterious depictions have sparked debates between researchers. Why would they depict rivers, jungles, and animals native to the region in the past and then paint something they didn't see? They would have no reason to make that up. They were painting something exactly as they saw it. The strange humanoid figures with helmets and suits? The ancient people of the Tassili Caves portrayed their everyday life and their experiences. They didn't invent these humanoid figures, which in some cases are even depicted with mysterious antennas on their helmet. They painted what they saw. Is it possible that the natives of the Tassili Caves actually depicted an ancient astronaut that's visited them in the past 15,000 years ago? According to many researchers, this appears to be the case. Number 3. Sago Canyon the sandstone cliffs of Sago Canyon are a spectacular outdoor art gallery of petroglyphs painted and carved by Native American peoples over a period of 8,000 years. 
With hollowed eyes and the frequent absence of arms and legs, some claim that the mysterious figures are evidence of an alien visitation in our ancient past. Barrier Canyon-style rock art is characterized by large human-like beings. They are sometimes seen with antenna, earrings, and with snakes in their hands. The alien-like images are some of the most unusual forms of rock art seen in the world. One of the most famous images, known as the Barrier Canyon Holy Man, which is larger and more important than the figures that surround him. Another strange set of images are the Rain Angels, which depict a number of figures who appear to have wings or rays of power radiating from them. Their petroglyphs also depicted unusual figures which were characterized by sharp edges, square or rectangular heads, and triangular bodies. Ancient astronaut theorists suggest that the strange features of the Barrier Cannon style rock art depict aliens that once visited Earth. They point to the large, hollow-looking eyes and the triangular-shaped heads as evidence that the figures were not human. Number 2. Nazca Lines Could it be possible that ancient civilizations possessed the knowledge for flight and that the technology has been lost in history? And as we search deeper into history, it seems something must have been flying in our skies for these ancient civilizations to depict, create, and forever engrave into history the proof that perhaps ancient aliens or ancient technology allowed for the possibility of flight tens of thousands of years ago. Nazca lines could have been an elaborate construction of runways for past civilizations to land and take off in their aircraft. Obviously, little evidence exists of past flying machinery constructed by ancients, however, little evidence exists of how the Great Pyramids of Giza were built. It's entirely obvious that some of the depictions in the Nazca lines were an effort to get the attention of visitors in the sky. In one depiction, it shows a person waving. Was this a desperate attempt to lure visitors back to Earth? The fact that the Nazca lines can only be seen from the sky is one of the biggest pieces of evidence that we know of. There's simply no other explanation for these lines. They were meant to be seen from above. And at number one, the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki were depicted as godlike beings who lived in ancient Sumeria and were worshipped and depicted in great detail by the ancient Sumerians. These beings came down to Earth and created Homo sapiens according to ancient texts. The name Anunnaki directly translates as those who are sent from heaven to Earth. The excavation and subsequent translation of thousands of clay tablets from the ancient land of the Sumerians has sparked a new controversy about who humans really are and where we're from. The priest class of the Sumerians were very interested in the movements of the planets, with a particular interest in one planet, which was described as the home planet of their gods. This was not mythology for the Sumerians, as these gods lived among them and ruled over them. Directly translated from these clay tablets, it reads, A godlike race called the Anunnaki, who came from their home planet, called Nibiru. The Sumerians achieved over 100 new ideas for human civilization. From city planning to advanced astronomy, it all originated in Sumer. The Sumerians credit these achievements to the Anunnaki, giant winged gods who were only found in ancient cuneiform texts. Could these gods be more than legend? Is it possible that civilization made sudden huge advancements in development 5,000 years ago as a result of the Anunnaki's presence on Earth? Or could the human race have been jump-started or even genetically created by the Anunnaki in the remote past? In the book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 4, it reads, There were giants in the Earth in those days, and also after that when the sons of gods came in onto the daughters of men, and they bear children onto them. What do you guys think of the information that we presented here? Leave the comments below. Thanks for watching, and remember, the ways at which we arrive at knowledge are hardly less wonderful than the discovery of these things themselves.